Hi, today we're in the mix studio and I want to have some fun with some gates and triggers. What I'd like to do is take one track and use it to trigger a gate across another track. I have a session open from the Melvins. This is from Mix with the Masters. And Buzz actually played um, a pickle solo and that's what I'd like to use as my trigger. The, the track that I'd like to gate is a sustained part that Buzz played in the song. Let me play you the pickle just so you understand what I'm talking about. This was actually a guitar being played through a pickle. It's the speaker output of an amplifier going through a pickle and then we mic the speaker. So this is kind of what it sounded like. As um, the pickle heated up, it started to break up in a really nice way. Alright, and the track that I'd like to uh, gate is this sustained guitar track, and let me play you a little bit of that right now too. This is the part that I want to start breaking up like the pickle, so I want to use the pickle as the bait. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I have set up a gate on the sustained guitar track, and let me open that up right now. It's an Avid Gate, uh, Pro Tools um, Avid Gate, and I have a key set up on that for bus 23. Um, the key, whatever I send into bus 23 now, will act as the key, so it will trigger the gate to open. So uh, now I'll need to select um, bus 23 from the uh, pickle track. Let's see, go down to bus 23. Okay, now that should be set to be our trigger. And the last thing I'll need to do is I'll need to uh, decide where I want the gate to activate and then um, and then make that happen. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I wanted to grab this bit. There we go. That's the section I want to use um, for the, the uh, pickle gate. Pickle gate. Okay, so let's see if this will actually work. I'll play it now. Let's see, where do I want to play it from? I'll play it from right here. So you can see when it hits the pickle gate, it should start to change the sound of the sustained guitar. And let's play that. <laughs> So it's doing just what I wanted it to do. So how does this sound in the track? Let's see, let me take everything out of solo and we'll play it again to see what it sounds like in the track. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's working great. 